Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'd like for Brother Dimitri to come on up. He's got a few words of encouragement that I'd like to share with you guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, I'd like to say a couple of words that have been on my mind for the last couple of days. And I want to say to everyone that if we believe in Jesus and we receive it, receive him in our hearts you know there's there's got to be done more we need more of that jesus said said repent from all these things it means turn around completely from what you've been doing and now you're doing not what you want you're doing what god wants you to do and uh, there is more to that you know like if we believe that we are saved there is something that we need to do for it to prove it like if we love somebody we need to prove it by our works by our deeds and there is something that we need to work out and we need to work out our salvation as well you know jesus he paid the price he did everything the only need from us the the only thing that that we need to do is to believe that he actually did to believe repent from our things be baptized and follow jesus whatever he's saying just follow those things and if we believe that we are saved we need to work it out it's an everyday work but our but our hope but our faith we believe that we are saved and we are seated on the heavenly places with jesus but all this way until we live on the earth we need to work it out we need to work it out there is a things every day that we're gonna face that we need to refuse to do they're against Jesus, they're against God, they're not of His nature. And we need to turn around from these things. No longer we're going to do those things that we wanted to do before. Now we're going to do those things that Jesus wants us to do, that God wants us to do. And I want to encourage everyone, hey, don't give up. It might get hard sometimes, but don't give up. And remember, all the, all the effort that we put in, in uh, into our salvation into like becoming a person of peace a person of god uh, somebody uh that the god sees you people might, might tell you hey you are this or you are this your future like this or like this but jesus he's having a different future for you in jeremiah in jeremiah uh, there is there is a there is a prophetic word there in for everyone that he's got the plans for you to yeah. prosper you and not to harm you. Yeah. See, God got so much greater plans for you than anyone ever could tell you. And this is this is the works of God, of Jesus, that He can do in your life. And and we believe and we grasp to this. And we grab it so uh, strong and we keep it so tight. And we believe that these things that Jesus promised, that God promised, they're going to happen in our life. And we need to also work it out. You know, if we belong to Jesus, if we belong to God, then we're not going to do things of this world. We're not going to do, we're not going to live the life of a, of a low, low standard, you know. We're going to live a life of a high standard, the one that Jesus exampled. And that's why we want to look up only to the Jesus. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. You know, He's our provider. He's our encourager. He's got it all for us. What else we need? He's got everything. We just need to come to Him, repent, believe, and serve Him. We need to work it out, our salvation. We need to work it out. There is the things that we need to leave behind and try for things, the heavenly things. Yeah, may God bless every single one. And uh, may peace, of, uh, peace and love of God be with each one of you. Amen.